Welcome back. In this video, we'll be talking about sarcoidosis, and we'll use a mnemonic to help us memorize everything. The mnemonic for sarcoidosis is the word sarcoid, which is pretty convenient for memorization. S for skin manifestation, we're going to have erythema nodosum, which is highly similar to that of SLE. A for arrhythmias, which is a horrible sign because it indicates an advanced disease. R for restrictive lung disease, because sarcoidosis causes interstitial lung fibrosis. Keep in mind, in interstitial lung fibrosis, we're going to have increased forced vital capacity. C for calcium elevation. Sarcoidosis causes granulomas, and granulomas are composed of macrophages. And if you remember from your real physiology, we consume vitamin D as inactivated form, and the kidneys possess the enzyme alpha-hydroxylase, which can activate vitamin D. And in sarcoidosis, the macrophages also contain the enzyme alpha-hydroxylase, so they also activate vitamin D. And that's why we have hypercalcemia. O for ocular inflammation, which is uveitis. It's a very common feature in sarcoidosis. I for immobile facial muscles, which is Bell's palsy. And D for vitamin D. Now I'll teach you how to spot the hallmarks in sarcoidosis. The first highly characteristic feature for sarcoidosis is non-caseating granulomas which is a simple granuloma but with no caseation inside because there is no infective organism. Let's look at caseating and non-caseating granulomas side by side so we can differentiate between them. As you can see here on the right, we have central clearing. This is the caseation, which is dead cells. As you can see, it's clear pink. And as you can see here on the left side, we have the non-caseating granulomas. There are no dead cells in the center. There is plenty of small blue dots, which are live cells nuclei. So, caseating, dead cells, non-caseating, no dead cells. The second feature is asteroid bodies, which are stellar shaped intracytoplasmic inclusions. And finally, we have the showman's bodies, which are intracytoplasmic calcifications. And of course, calcifications appear black or dark brown in HNE stain. And here's a small quiz for you. So, what's the pathophysiology behind hypercalcemia and sarcoidosis? And mention the three hallmarks of sarcoidosis. Just before I end the video, if you guys have any other mnemonics or any other information about sarcoidosis, feel free to write them down in the comments so other people can read them and benefit from them. And thanks for watching.